So Warwick, we know that there's a lot of changes with the X Pro 2 and event against the X Pro 1. But something else I've noticed is obviously there's a little door on the side of that. Can you just explain that? Because it's different from mine. Well, on the X Pro 1, of course, you have the battery and the memory card under the same door. Right. Uh, the memory cards, because there are now two of them in the right. X-Pro2, yep. have been moved to a side access. So you open the little panel here, you've got your first card slot, second card slot. First one is UHS-2 compatible for okay. your high-speed cards. Yes. The second one is UHS-1 compatible. Okay, and what sort of modes can you do um, between those two cards? Because obviously you're recording... Sure. Yeah. So in, in the menu you can select uh, from sequ sequential, yep. which means you basically fill up one card, then go, go to the, the next, next one. Yep. Numbering continues across. Yep. Uh, you have your backup mode, so basically it puts a copy of one uh, file on your first card and a backup copy on the second card. Yep. And then you've got your RAW and JPEG, which okay. stores the RAWs and, uh, on one card and JPEGs on the other. Now Warwick, I had to steal this camera from you because <laughs> after everything you've explained to me, I just want one. Um, <laughs> And something I've noticed as well, another change, is the button configuration. C compared to the X Pro 1, it's completely different. Well, there's two reasons. They've put a bigger screen on there, so a three inch 1.6 megapixel, or 1.62 megapixel right. screen actually. And that's, I guess in some respects, forced the buttons across. But it hasn't been done just haphazardly. They've been placed in a position so that they are much easier to use single-handed okay. camera. So something I've noticed is this button. And I personally, I dreaded digging into the menu or the quick yeah, menu or the AE yeah. button just to choose my metering. Yeah, exactly. Can you tell us an added feature that they've added well, on? Well, it's, it's simply, it's, it's again, it's something that has come from requests. Okay. And people that have used the cameras in the past have made requests and we now have a button on there that allows you to select the metering or photometry. And on top of that, we've also thrown in a center weighted option wow. as well. Okay, awesome. And when I'm shooting, I tend to shoot JPEG and RAW. Can you tell me a little bit more about RAW? Because I hear that's changed as well. Well, in the RAW mode, you have the, the classic Fujifilm uncompressed RAW file, but we've now added a compressed version. So you're going to get around 40, 50 megabytes of space taken wow. up with a, an uncompressed one and around 20 with the compressed, yep. as opposed to the JPEGs, which are going to be around about 10, 12 megabytes. Wow. So, Oh, look, I, I think that the camera is changing. It's certainly become a far more professional product yep. and uh, a product that is going to find its way into a, a lot more hands. Okay. You've got to remember, there's a lot of people waiting on this product. Yeah, so sort of the photojournalism, documentary, yeah. but also wedding as well. Oh. I mean, I find that a lot of wedding photographers are now changing yeah. over their kits because you've got that lens yeah. options and also the features that they want. Uh, I, what, what constantly surprises me wherever I go, if I'm wearing my Fuji shirt, I will get people say, oh, when's X-Pro2 coming out? When's X-Pro2? I don't and know anything. Been, la, la, this la. Has been, yeah, yeah. This has been asked of me so many times. So I know there's a lot of people waiting on it. And this is not just coming from people who have actually bought into X-Pro1. This is people said, oh, well, they'll buy the camera when it becomes X-Pro2. Right. So I think we're, we're going to be looking at a, a lot of sales of this camera. So if you want one of these, you better get in early. That's right. <laughs> Something that I love about this camera is just the feel of it. I think I, it feels nice in my hand and, you know, as, as coming from a wedding photography background, yeah. it's something that I'd, I think I'll need. Um, <laughs> so thanks, Warwick. Thanks for explaining everything to me. But one standout feature for me is certainly this ISO and shutter speed combination yeah. because it really does free up that function button at the top, which yeah. I can program in. Is there any sort of settings that, that really stand out from you that we talked about today? I look, to me, it's just a, an overall f greatly improved package. It's, it's faster. It's what people want. They want the speed. They want the accuracy. They want the classic Fujifilm yeah. colour. Yeah. Uh, that's something that uh, Fujifilm take great pride in, is ensuring the picture colour is, is beyond everything else. Actually, when, when you talk about colour, it reminded me of a setting I read about, this new film simulation. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah so let me hand this back. Across. Yes. Before I steal it from so, you, um, what is Acros? Uh, Acros is uh, it's basically a, a new black and white uh, setting, but it's, it's it's so much like black and white negative film. Right. Uh, it, you it gives can, it like clarity yeah, and the sharpness. Yeah, it just I don't know. Yep. It, it has a really 
dare I say, analog look. Wow. Okay. And uh, it is. It's, it's nice. You, I've you, actually seen some images. Yes. From it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's like um, if you're going in Photoshop and you're adjusting your curve level to a yeah. slight S curve, uh, where you're darkening the shadows and um, bringing your highlights yes. up a little bit. That's what Acros really does to your images. And it's but you, you know what I found really interesting? I had those images. I took them home and showed them to my wife. Now she's not a photographic expert at all. I just yeah. said, which one do you like? Pick the Acros one wow. straight away. Okay. Why? Don't know. It looked better. Yeah. So there's even that subconscious. I think uh, at that subconscious level, whether you're a pro, whether you're a total amateur, yeah, it's going to appeal to you. Yep. And now Fujifilm really did listen to a, a lot of photographers' oh, feedback yeah. on this, and that's why it's taken yeah. such a long time to come out. Sure. Um, is there any sort of challenges that they came across in developing some of the feedback? Can you give us an example? Oh, there's there's, there's many things. You know, trying trying to fit everyone's requests in here. And I yeah. think they've done a great job. But even things like a lot of people like the old-fashioned cable release. Right. That wasn't available on the XT1 when we created the weather-resistant body on that. Yeah. And for good reason, you don't want a hole basically going into the camera where no. water can get in there. <laughs> but uh, so many people wanted a weather resistant camera yet still wanted that old cable release capability. So Fujifilm have gone to the trouble of creating a weather resistant body with the old fashioned yep. screen cable yep. release. Now that's why I'm going to take that back. <laughs> so, you know, for the style of photography that I do, coming from a wedding background, it's really going to suit me um, based on that and it's going to give me the image quality. But Overall, who do you think this is? This camera is going to appeal to? Uh, it's going to appeal to a, a wide range of people, not not just your pros, but yep. uh, people who want a classic camera with all the modern features. And of course, there's those just die-hard rangefinder-style yeah. fans, yep. and uh, there are plenty of them out there. I meet them all the time. I think we've just scratched the surface. There's a there's a, a lot more to this camera, yep. and when people start to use it, uh, they'll start to realise that. Yeah, and that's uh, something that I'm realising as well. So, yeah. I'll see you later, because I'm going to start using it. In the meantime, you can catch me at a store around Australia or New Zealand. Come and ask me, and I'll show you X-Pro2. Well, if I can get it back from Lee. <laughs> Just for Thank the you. trips. <laughs>